we have just been making video after video after video of Northeastern University Huskies getting signed to contracts. And this is one of the more exciting ones. The Sabres have announced on their Twitter account it's official. We have signed goalie Devin Levi to a three-year ELC. And look, there was a video that we made a year ago talking about Devin Levi, Buffalo Sabres prospect, and Northeastern goaltender. We made a video last year talking about why he didn't sign then. And essentially, if you wanted to get the long story short, we can sum up that however many minute video it was in one sentence. Levi had unfinished business, and he wanted to make sure that he was really able to get the best out of his Northeastern University Huskies career. But now, it appears that he has done so as he is signed with the Buffalo Sabres, and if you go over to the press release here on the website, let's just go out there and take a read with this. The goalie led the NCAA the last two seasons in save percentage. Devin Levi has patiently navigated each step of his development confidently that a pro career would follow if he made the right decisions along the way. I've never really chased the highest level, Levi said, during Buffalo Sabres development camp last summer. I've just kind of let it come when the time is right. Well, the time has come today. Levi and the Sabres agreed to a three-year ELC on Friday, six days after his junior season at Northeastern University ended in the Hockey East Tournament. Levi returned to Northeastern this past season, intended on following up the success he had experienced the year prior. He led the country with a 9.52 save percentage last year, the second best mark in NCAA history. He won the Mike Richter Award as the best collegiate goalie and was a finalist for the Hobie Baker. The 21-year-old once again led the NCAA in save percentage this season with a 9.33 and ranked third in both saves. He had 1,183 and shutouts with six. He has already been named Hockey East Player of the Year, is one of the three finalists for the Richter Award, and is one of ten finalists for the Hobie Baker. Beautiful resume right there. Just fantastic to see. Oh, I pressed tab. We scrolled down a little bit too far. Levi's decision to return for his junior season was consistent with the patient approach he has embraced throughout his journey. He forwent, ooh, beautiful word, he forwent the start of his junior career for a third year of U18 AAA with the Lac St. Louis Lions in 2018-19. The season prior, he had led the league in a save percentage category with 927. That was my hardest year of hockey, honestly. It was the expectations, learning how to manage expectations. I was a bit younger, and it came off a good season my second year, so it's how are you going to do it again? I struggled a little bit at first trying to manage it. Very weird choice of words. So it's how you going to do it again. Okay, I'm just going to read past that here. Levi had a 9-9 save percentage. Okay, it just kind of goes over his entire profile in junior. He was a 7th round pick by the Panthers in 2020. The Sabres acquired him in July 2021 along with the 1st round pick used to select Yuri Kulik in a trade that sent Sam Reinhart to Florida. The prospect we got we feel really strongly about, Sabres GM Kevin Adams had said regarding Levi at the time of the trade. The organization went to work with building a relationship with Levi over the ensuing years. Levi was in attendance alongside Adams for a Sabres morning skate in Boston last May and got a full-fledged introduction to Buffalo at development camp, the experience had left a mark. Kevin said in our little meeting above, before dev camp, that we're looking to win a Stanley Cup. I think that the organization is on its way. It's really impressive. Now, what I gotta go out there and do is firstly give props to the Sabres and their editing team, especially Jordan LaBarber over here, because they did not just go out there and say, the Buffalo Sabres have signed goaltender Devin Levi to a three-year ELC. He was initially drafted by Florida and acquired by Buffalo back in the Sam Reinhardt trade. This past season, he had whatever save percentage and was X amount in the NHL, or not the NHL, the NCAA, in save percentage. He'll be looking to join the team next week. It wasn't as simple as that. They really went out there and had an entire narrative. Like, you don't ever see these press release articles published with the first sentence saying, Devin Levi has patiently navigated each step of his development, confident that a pro career would follow if he made the right decisions along the way. Like, there's so much nuance here, and it's really well written, so thank you to Jordan LaBarber for doing your job extraordinarily well. You also had yourselves Sabres PR going out there with this. It was a nice graphic pretty much saying the entire thing. If you go over to Devin Levi and his profile, though, let's just do this to end the video off here. 
21 years old, 6 feet, 185, left-handed catch and goaltender, 7th round pick by the Panthers back in 2020. As we had said in prior videos, back when he was a Panthers prospect and he was initially selected to be the Canadian goaltender at the World Juniors, he played off in that final game against Spencer Knight, fellow Florida Panthers prospect, and unfortunately, he lost, but he still had a 964 save percentage and no 75 goals against in seven games played because that Canadian team was just so absolutely bananas good. He had all the numbers that we had talked about this season. First in the NCAA in save percentage, 933 save percentage last year. He had a 952, but of course, I mean, he had a 17 and 17 record this year, so the team in front of him wasn't necessarily putting it together in the same way, but he still had league shattering numbers. Now he'll be heading over to Buffalo. We'll see what happens when he makes his debut, but I want you to let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Devin Levi signing and heading over to Sabertown. I hope you enjoyed this video of Charles 9 and bye.